what was your take on the uh, on the press conference last night? You know, I actually thought I thought that Obama was brilliant. I mean, it's just we're starting to hear from so many historians and people say, you know, this is this is one of the brightest presidents, one of the most adept that we've had perhaps in our lifetime. And I, I think we see evidence of that every time he has one of these events. It's almost like the more mm-hmm. varied the questions are, the tougher the questions are. He just he, he, he it's like he hits them back even harder. And it's just and he does it in sort of a friendly nature. He's so informed. He's circumspect. Um, he's articulate. He's thoughtful. And and I think even for you know my friends who disagree, say with a particular their policy, they at least acknowledge, well, there's an intellectual basis, there's a rationale to right. why he's saying what he does. Now, you may disagree with that, but at least you have to respect the fact that he's thought it through and he's logical and he's got a basis for his argument. He's like anti-George like Bush. A, such a dramatic change. No, Fox is, I mean, I, I can go on and on and on about Fox. I mean, I think the, the, their approach to this has been, I mean, look, if, if Fox wants to consider themselves the GOP House organ, that's fine. They completely backed it up. When Fox starts describing themselves as journalists or a news organization, that's where I think it's it's appropriate to describe Fox as disgraceful. I mean, the, the right. set of rules, the set of standards that Fox pretends to try to follow. I, I mean, it's just, I don't even know where to begin with Fox. It's just insanity. If right. you want to make an argument that, look, President Obama is socialist, prove it. All right. I was going to say, you know, Fox has just been brutal. I mean, their coverage on the Fox News channel has been atrocious. The stuff that comes out of Sean Hannity's mouth has been infuriating. The stuff that Bill O'Reilly says has been illogical. You go up and down the schedule, and it's insanity over there. David, having covered a lot of presidents, what, how, how, would you, uh, how would you rate the first 100 days? I know it's an arbitrary measure, but... Well, I, I think in my lifetime, um, there's never been anything. There's never been anything like it. I mean, when you think about what he's been able to pass, what he's been able to get done, uh, $800 billion stimulus plan, dealing with a number of crises. I mean, as a journalist, you just you just look up and say these are historic times.